Are you looking for beautiful WordPress forms with more fields and advanced functionalities? If so, you're at the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to create custom WordPress forms. But before we do, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. All right, so here I have a fresh new installation of WordPress. And what I've done is I've installed this theme called Zakra and I've imported a demo template so I can show you something presentable. All right, so to create custom WordPress forms, let's go ahead and let's install this plugin first called Everest Forms. There you go, this is the plugin. Click on install and activate. This is actually a pretty good plugin. All right. All right. So once you've installed this plugin, it's going to show you something like this. Welcome to our form. If you want to watch this video, you can, but, but simply let's go ahead and let's create our first form. So whenever forms, you have these templates like simple contact forms, leave request forms. There's a whole bunch of templates and you can also create your own from scratch. But for now, let's go ahead and let's get started with this simple contact form. Uh, let me just show you how it's going to look. I'm just gonna name it contact one. All right, so this is the form right here. And here in the form builder, it's pretty easy to use as well. Uh, you can drag and drop things, but you know, so far so good. I think most of us, if we are looking for a generic contact form, this is what you guys will be looking for. Let me save this first. Since your form is ready, how do you preview it? So to preview it, let's go it into pages. And let me add, all right, there already is a contact page. So let me go ahead and edit this page. All right, so there already is a contact page. So I'm just going to search for Everest forms right here and whichever form I've created, which it was contact one in my case. So I'm going to select that. My form is ready. Let me update this page. And when we view this page, all right, the form is ready, but yeah, it does not quite look right. So to fix that, I'm going to add a column. Right, like so by three and let me just drag and drop it right there update and there you go the forms looking pretty good all right so now people can fill this form up and once they submit the form what's going to happen is you can go into your dashboard and go into entries it's going to show this entry right here right pretty simple your form is already working everything's going pretty great but you know, maybe this is not enough for you. Maybe you want something a little bit, a little bit more, maybe with more fields, with more options, which you can do that. So basically you can add more things into this form and you can customize it however you want. So let's go into Everest Forms and let's go ahead and edit this form right here. Now, what you can do is you can add these fields. Now, these general fields are free and, and there are other fields which are available in the pro version, but you know, maybe, maybe you want a drop down here. Um, so above message, I'm going to have this drop down um, issue. We can go something like, you know, you can have your options right here, like, you know, technical, you can go purchase. Uh, yeah, like, you know, we can do these and you can save it. And once you save it, the form will be updated automatically and people can select, you know, the drop down. And yes, once submitted, all these are viewable within entries. You can go right here. You can view the entry. All the information will be right here. But now maybe you want this information mailed to you. You can do that as well. So simply you can go right here and whichever form you need the information from into your mailbox, you can go into its settings and you can click on email. All right, so here in the email tab, you can add many different kinds of emails. Email notification, you have an admin notification. Maybe you want a user notification, which you can do that as well. All right, so the best thing about Everest Forms is that it uses something called smart tags to send out emails. So here you can see admin underscore email, considering I am the admin, I have this admin notification email, which will be sent to my address. It will, it will simply take my admin email and will send this mail to me. So what I can do is, um, so here I can set up information like from name, from address, reply to, you know, the email subject, and, and basically all fields means all the fields within the form and the information inputted into these fields will be mailed to you. So that, so yeah, so yeah, that, that's basically how it works. All right. So here in the user notification, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to address to whatever the user inputs in the email field for this. Again, we're going to use smart tags 
and we're going to use something called field mapping, which is this button right here. I'm going to click on this and email field. So yeah, you can, you can set up your name and your address right here. And you can change the mail subject and the email message. So you can change this to something like, thanks for contacting us. Uh, well, that's not how you spell contact. All right, thanks for contacting us. You can type a message something like, all right, so let me show you how the mail is going to look. I'm simply going to fill this out, but I'm going to use my email. Submit. I'm going to show you a preview in the screen of what the email is going to look like. So that's how the email is going to look like. And now let's get back to our form builder. So, you know, in form builder, I showed you how you can drag and drop these general fields. But yeah, you can also configure different settings within these fields, like you can go into name and you can change, you know, its label, you can change its meta key if you know what you're doing. And, you know, you can change its description, like input your name here or something like this. Yeah, so this will, this will show up as like a description, like a helpful input for your viewer. You can make this field required if there are any fields that are not required, like, you know, subject or something, uh, then you can simply make it not required. And within advanced settings, you can set up placeholders, like here I can type in full name, and it's gonna show up right here as like a placeholder, and, and then people can fill out their actual names here. So yeah, this can work as like, this can work like description, but you know, it's, it's just placeholder. And yeah, you can hide the label if you need, a lot of different things you can do, and bear in mind, we're only using the free version of this. There's also a premium version, which gives you access to all these different kinds of fields and many more settings within the fields, or field options, as they call it. So and in the premium version, each field has its own set of field options that you can tweak around with and many other things you can do. It also comes with its own customizer, if I'm not wrong, where you can customize the form however you want, like, you know, the borders, etc. That's available in the premium version as well. But yeah, I think the free version is pretty good as well. And as I showed you guys before, Everest Forms also has its own templates, which you can use. You can use any of these templates if they are to your liking. And within its settings, you can do a lot of different things. Like you can set up captures if, if necessary. You can integrate it with ReCapture, Edge Capture, Cloudflare, etc. And here we have these validation messages. All right, so basically when I'm filling out the form, and if I don't fill in my username, it's going to say this field is required. So that is the validation message. And you can change this globally, or I think you can also go into the form. So, so here you can switch from the global setting to a custom required message. Please input your name. And some, and it seems I can't type today. All right, that's fine. So yeah, uh, I, I'll do that. And when I again try to fill out this form without a name, it's going to say, please input your name instead of what it, whatever it was before. So yeah, that is the validation message. But yeah, with the premium version of this plugin, there are, there are a lot of different add-ons that you can use as well. But you know, I think for your general use case, the free version is enough and you get a lot. So that's about it. If you guys need an in-depth tutorial on the premium version of this plugin, do let me know and I will make that happen as well. But for now, this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. And if you have any other videos that you want me to make, drop them down in the comments and I'll make it happen. Take care.